Okay, so Toto is inside the Tin Man's chest, and Toto doesn't like it, so Toto wants to get out. So Toto's in there, like, clawing at the joints of, like, inside one of the, the armpits of um, the Tin Man. So the Tin Man looks down, rolls to see if um, she, he can find um, uh, a blowtorch, you know, that she had in the kitchen. And yes, the Scarecrow had thrown all this stuff on the floor, and the Tin Man rolls really high. So, she, so the blowtorch is right at her feet. So she starts soldering her um, arms back together so that Toto can't take her apart from the inside out. <laughs> so Toto is able to find the latch for her chest and get out the way he came in through the door on the chest. So all this mucking about. Um, finally, we get back on the path and we're heading towards uh, the Emerald City along the Yellow Brick Road. And um, so I had an encounter set up for them where there were going to be these trees that were going to throw um, apples at them, okay? Well, th well, well, Glinda says, you know, first the munchkin mayor is like, well, where's the food? And there's no food in the farmhouse. And what Toto smelled were the crops, but the crops aren't ripe yet. So um, Glinda knows that there's an orchard not far from here. And so she leads them down in the same direction as the Emerald City. So they go down towards the orchard to get apples, right? So they start, so they come along and they find some apples. And Glenda rolls, you know, her like um, unhelpful advice thing and she and roll and she says, you know, the apples that have fallen off the trees already are the most ripe. They're going to taste the best. So there's like, Toto goes up and picks up like a half eaten apple or a half rotten apple and drops it at Dorothy's feet. And Dorothy picks it up and says, you want to play catch, boy? You want to play catch? And Toto's like, the guy playing Toto's like, no, I don't want to do that. I said, oh yeah, go ahead and roll wisdom saving throw. And um, he does, but he has to roll with disadvantage uh, because he's very susceptible, especially to Dorothy, and he fails. So he has to play catch. So Dorothy throws... The apple and Toto goes to pick it up and then drops it back at her feet. And I know this does, may not even sound that funny, but the way these guys were playing it, it was it was hilarious. And uh, so, so the mayor's like A half rotten apple. Yeah, I'll eat that because he's just starving at this point. So he's eating these apples, and uh, and then all of a sudden, two people. I, I make everybody do a perception check. And only two people, Dorothy and the Munchkin Mayor, realize that there are apples whizzing past their heads. And um, so so the trees were throwing apples. There were three trees in this orchard that were throwing apples at them. But before I can get to the combat, Glinda decides to use one of her spells to cause an earthquake and shake the apple, all the apples from the trees. So this is a great idea. So I do it. She instantly succeeds. I do it. And I, the way I described it was, okay, the earth starts shaking. The cowardly lion, of course, runs away. And in a tenth of a second, all the leaves, everything that was on the trees, the apples, the leaves, everything, fall to the ground instantly, a tenth of a second. And everyone can see like three trees that are sort of articulated and their arms are kind of moving about. So they don't even bother to go in that direction. They just like avoid the trees altogether. So that encounter didn't go anything like I expected. So they just continue right along the road. But it was funny anyway. <laughs>